In Contents, click the icon for the Labeling panel. Under the Airports layer, uncheck the Class 1 box to turn off the default labels. Click the Busiest Airports Label Class. On the Labeling ribbon, change the symbol to Tahoma 10 Point Bold. In Contents, click the Less Busy Airports class to select it. On the Labeling ribbon, change the symbol to Tahoma 8 Point Regular. In Contents, still in the Labeling panel, select Rivers to work with those labels now. Check the box for the Rivers layer to turn the labels on. They don't show yet because the rivers have a display scale set and the labels initially use the same one. Zoom to about 1 to 1 million to make the rivers and labels appear. On the labeling ribbon, change the symbol to Arial 8 point dark blue italic. On the Labeling ribbon, in the Label Placement group, click the Label Placement Style drop-down and select Water Line. Click the Feature Layer, Labeling, Map, View Unplaced button. With this setting on, labels that don't fit are shown in red. Zoom and pan around the map to find some unplaced labels. Dynamic labels may change as the map scale and extent change. Click the View Unplaced button again to turn the unplaced labels off. Use the Map Navigate Full Extent button to zoom to all of Oregon. In Contents, still in the Labeling panel, right-click the Highways layer and choose Symbology. In the Symbology pane, click the Symbol. In the Format Line Symbol pane, click the Gallery tab. Enter Point in the search box and click Enter. Choose the 2.0 point symbol. Switch to the Properties tab and change the color to light brown. Click Apply. In Contents, select the Highways layer and open the Feature Layer Labeling ribbon. In the Label Class group, change the field to Highway Symbol. In the Text Symbol group, click the Text Symbol Style drop-down, then scroll down to find and select the Shield 8 symbol. In the Label Placement group, click the Label Placement Style drop-down and select the Shield option. In Contents, Check the box beside Highways to turn on the labels. In the Labeling Visibility Range group, set the Out Beyond Limit to 1 to 1 million. Zoom in to 1 to 1 million to see the labels. then return to the full extent of the map. Give the counties Arial 8 Point Bold Labels. In a 50% gray color. with a two-point halo.
don't assign a scale range. In Contents, return to the List by Drawing Order panel. In Contents, right-click the Volcanoes layer and choose Attribute Table. The Elevation field contains numeric data, so it must be portrayed using a Quantities map, and the values must be classified. Close the table and select Volcanoes layer in Contents. Click the Feature Layer Appearance Drawing Symbology button. In the Symbology pane, change the symbology from Single Symbol to Graduated Colors. Set the field to Elevation if needed. A set of five classes appears with the default Jenks Natural Breaks classification. Set the color scheme to yellow, orange, red. Five classes. In the Symbology pane, click the More drop-down and choose Format All Symbols. In the Format Point Symbols pane, click the Gallery tab and select the Triangle 1 symbol. The symbols will all turn black, but don't worry about that now. Click the Properties heading and change the symbol size to 12 point. Click Apply. Click the back arrow in the Format Point Symbols pane to return to the main Symbology pane. Reset the color scheme. Turn off the Airports and Highways layers. Right-click the Counties layer and choose Label to turn off the labels. The settings are stored in a layer and the same labels can be turned on again at any time. In Contents, select the Volcanoes layer. In the Symbology pane, change the Symbology drop-down to graduated symbols. Keep the field set to Elevation. Click the Template symbol. Click the Gallery tab and choose the Triangle 3 symbol. Click the Properties heading and set the color to a reddish brown. Click Apply. The smallest class symbol is barely visible. Click the circled arrow to return to the main Symbology pane. Change the number of classes to 4. Set the minimum size value to 6 point and the maximum size to 20 point. In Contents, rename the Volcanoes layer Volcano Elevation. In the Symbology pane, open the Advanced Symbol Options panel. Expand the Format Labels heading. Under Rounding, fill the button for significant digits and set the number to 2. In Contents, Click twice slowly on the Elevation heading in the Volcano Elevation legend and type Meters. Save the project. In Contents, right-click the Volcano Elevation layer and choose Copy. Right-click the Geography Map icon and choose Paste. Rename the new Volcano Elevation layer above the old one, Volcano Type. Drag it below the Airports layer. Turn off the Volcano Elevation layer.